Okay, so today we have the Asus Chromebook C214. Am I right? Yes, I am right. C214M. It launched at 23,000 INR, but with bank offers, you can get this laptop for around 15,000 rupees. But the question that has to be asked is, even at 15,000, is this a good laptop? Is this a good Windows alternative? Well, to answer all those questions, I use the laptop as my daily driver for about seven days, and you will know the answers by the end of this video. By the way, Pratik. Laptop, tech visor, let's go. Okay, so first up, you get the box and it sort of opens like a laptop. In search of incredible, for sure, in 15,000 rupees. Inside, you get the Chromebook, the 45 watt charger, and it is type C. And very interestingly, you get a 64 GB micro SD card. Very good. And some mandatory paperwork. And the first thing that I noticed is the design. Like, I really like the design compared to other laptops. It is quite small, like see here. It weighs only 1.2 kg. And see, it fits easily in my small bag and I can easily carry it around. It's not that heavy. And it's entirely made up of plastic. <laughs> like you get this texture on top and bottom. And I must say for 15,000, it feels quite premium. And this is a very interesting thing. The laptop can fold like this also and like this and convert it into a tablet like two in one so you also get power button and volume keys when you're using it like a tablet and you get all the necessary ports too like you have one usb a port one type c port which can even charge the device a headphone jack and a kensington lock and also one extra usb c port over here funny thing this macbook air m1 costs ninety thousand and has way less ports than this flagship experience and it is also military grade certified let's test it we'll drop it on the table oh boy i'm so scared <laughs> I, I can i can <laughs> okay, three, two, one. So apparently nothing happened, it survived. So yeah, even if you're traveling in your daily bag, it can handle rough and tough behavior. And in the first few days, I casually used the Chromebook, you know, watching videos, listening to music and all of that stuff. And I must say, the entire UI of Chrome OS appears to be a mixture of Android and Windows. Because see here, just like Windows 11, you will get the icons in the center. There's a taskbar at the bottom of the screen. On the bottom left, you get this circular icon. And if you click on it, it brings up the app drawer, just like the start button on Windows. On the right, you get the time and if you click on that you will see notification center just like your android smartphone also you get the brightness slider and the volume slider and then the shortcut to toggle wi-fi bluetooth dark mode etc again like an android phone even when you go into the setting it feels like the android settings and again when you switch between apps you have to press alt tab like see here it looks so much like Windows. So mix of Android and Windows. Windroid, if that makes sense. No. no. <laughs> and you get this cool shortcut, like if you press Alt plus this square bracket, it goes into multi-screen mode, quick and simple. So overall, see, most people in this price segment have either an Android phone or a Windows computer. So making the Chrome OS look like Windroid, Android plus Windows is a smart move. By the way, all these OS features will work with all the Chromebooks out there. Okay, so it's been four days and I must say, I'm really liking the Chromebook experience. Like for productivity purpose, this is a fine device. See, I use my laptop mostly for research work, writing scripts and occasionally watching videos and movies. And for that, there is no lag whatsoever. Like the apps open really smoothly. The typing experience is also very good. By the way, it can play YouTube videos at 4K, like what? At 15,000 4K videos? Nice. The animations are fluid, websites load up quickly. There's no delay in switching between apps. I can even connect my Android phone to it and it syncs with the Chromebook very easily. Like see here, I can click on this dock icon and now it shows my mobile settings, the battery percentage on my phone and I can even put it to silent mode right from here if I want to. I can even see the gallery, recent photos, everything here. And when I get a notification, it shows up on my Chromebook. Like see, I just received a text from Cyan or Super Cyan. And I can reply to the messages directly from here. And see here, there's a feature called nearby share. So you can quickly drop your files from the smartphone to this laptop. Like see, I'll transfer this reel of Manu. Three, two, one. See, it happened so quickly. So that Android and Chromebook ecosystem works well. But, but, but there is a twist. Since this is running Chrome OS and not Android OS, you won't get all the apps on the Play Store over here. Like for instance, I use Slack on a daily basis. It is basically WhatsApp, but for the office. And see here, Slack is not there on the Play Store. Similarly, I tried to download Apex Legends because I'm the best gamer in TechVisor. <coughs> But see, I cannot download Apex Legends on the Play Store, but you can always download APK files from the web. So that is there. And speaking of gaming, well, this is not a gaming laptop. So you won't be able to play high-end games on it, but you can play those casual games and they work pretty well. I'm playing Alto's Adventure. Like the music on Alto's Adventure is the best. See, it runs smoothly and I'm killing all the deers. 
in the game. It is fluid though. I crashed and I died and the game plays good. But my game can improve. Or even you can play something higher like Asphalt. There are fewer frame drops, nothing major, game plays good. Now funny thing is, Google just launched Chromebooks for cloud gaming in partnership with Microsoft, Amazon and Nvidia. And guess what? Google just shut down its own cloud gaming service Stadia. It's funny if you get the joke. Okay, seven days. And there are some cons that I experienced and I thought you should really know about them. First is this display. Like this is a big 11. 6 inch HD display, a 720p screen, but the viewing angles are not good. Like see here, if you move the display even a little bit, you can see there is a huge color shift and the bezels are quite thick. Like at first I thought it would not be an issue, but when you fold the laptop and go to tablet mode, your fingers touch the bezels and not the screen. So it's a thick bezel. And even the more videos you watch on it, the more I wish that this bezel was slim. And then there is this trackpad. I mean, for me, it is quite small and not that good. Like I was constantly missing my clicks. So I had to use an external mouse with it. Also, the keyboard is not backlit. So you may have issues working at night. And the base model has only 32 GB of eMMC storage. So in simple words, eMMC is very slow compared to a normal SSD that you get with a laptop. Of course, you do get a micro SD card slot and a micro SD card in the box. So you can expand storage. You also get two cameras here. So on the top, which is a traditional webcam and the other one on the bottom right. So on a normal video call, you can use this normal webcam and then you can go to tablet mode. Sam, hold on. I'll show you my artistic work. Let me show you my art. Son. <laughs> Art. This is called art. It might seem like it's some gibberish, but if you take a photo of it and you put it in a mirror, it's subscribe to TechWise. So basically you can use both the camera while you are on a video call to show something behind the camera or in front of the camera. And if you like our videos, subscribe to our channel. We are very close to 1 million. Let's go. Also, I really like the battery life. See, Chrome OS is a very light OS, lighter than Windows and even Mac OS. And as a result, the battery life on this is way better than most Windows laptop on a budget. And it comes with a 45 watt PD charger. You can quickly charge it 200% in about one hour or so. So to answer the question, can this Asus Chromebook be considered as a laptop alternative? Well, it all depends. If you want a laptop experience, like for working on Word, Excel, or if you want to give it to your kids to occasionally play games, then at this price point of 15,000 INR, I would certainly recommend it because frankly at 15,000 you will not get a Windows laptop and even if you do it won't work it will be very slow like the tortoise in the but if you want a device for watching movies then I would suggest you get a tablet instead that is a better entertainment option it will have better speakers and better display than this Chromebook on that note this is Pradeek signing off see you in the next video pew pew pew